Radical. Hello, good morning. Radical Rick here. I'm the guy that called out Gerard the Completionist for being a greedy piece of shit over three years ago. I'm delighted to see the rest of the internet, the rest of the world coming around to finally agree with me from over three years ago. Over three years ago, people didn't agree with me. The fans of Gerard stormed my uploads, mass disliked them. They did not agree with me. But I, I took it. I accepted it because I knew I was in the right. Just like I'm in the right about every other greedy piece of shit motherfucker I've talked about in the past. But it takes something like Carl Jobst and Muda, bigger YouTubers, to bring attention to something before everyone's like, Ah, oh, that guy, he is a greedy piece of shit. Yeah, because bigger YouTubers told us that. It's, it's just sad. It really is. It really is. If you're right, you're right about something. It has nothing to do with the influence you have on the platform. Now, I will say, because Muda and Carl Jobst have more influence on the platform, those uploads did a whole lot more damage. And one of my goals from this, honestly, is to do more damage to the reputation of Gerard the Completionist. I really don't like this greedy piece of shit. I really don't. I really don't. I wonder. We're going to see if the rest of the world, the rest of the internet, after one week of this guy being exposed by Carl and Muda, let's see if things have blown over. You've seen this before sometimes with YouTubers, internet personalities, where if you just wait a little bit of time, a lot of these people that were angered and outraged, in this situation, rightly angered and outraged, We'll just move on to something else. They'll see something else shiny. And then that's what people like Gerard the Completionist kind of bank on. There's been no uploads on his channel. In over nine days, Shovel Knight was the last upload. So maybe he's just kind of banking on it. No community post other than his last one. I think he is getting rid of a lot of his shorts, I've been told. So maybe he's just lying low. He's bunkering down. He's bunkering down. Maybe he's not even going anywhere. Maybe he's bunkering down, you know. He, he's just trying to lay low. Trying to lay low. Not going anywhere online. That I've seen. Let's see if this is blown over. It's been a week. It's been a week. Well, four days ago. That was last week. I see a comment from... Green energy, green energy. My favorite part of the video was when he said, it's hoarding time. And he proceeded to hoard all the charitable donations. It's a good comment. And draw down 135K for expenses. Yeah, those expenses. Lots of, lots of Doritos, Cheetos, Puffies, all kind of, all kind of snacks. A lot of his expenses. So that's from four days ago. All right, four days ago. I'm sure it's blown over. Because, you know, like I said, the internet, they, especially when they love a YouTuber and their uploads, they have a very, very, very short memory. They probably already saw something else shiny. Oh, wait a second now. You were so cool. How could you? I love the comment section. Nobody cares about the video. Man, I love karma. Ooh, things don't look good for Gerard now. Where is this guy at? I'm running low on popcorn. Shovel Knight, not going to dig you out of this one. It's a good comment there. I said that. Gerard will need a mobility scooter after all those DoorDash transactions. You think that's what he's doing right now? He's, he's giving up on YouTube. He's not doing YouTube. He's just doing DoorDash, I believe. You are a disgrace. Apology video win. He said Donkey Kong Country 2 would be his final upload. So why was it Shovel Knight? Hmm. I wonder, is, is this the final upload on his channel? Can't wait to see the hour-long video someone will inevitably make detailing the rise and fall of the completionist, another YouTuber to join the Hall of Shame. I mean, it's probably, I mean, 
their shorter ones. I've seen a lot of people upload now, other than Where is the ukulele apology video? You think it's going to be what happens? He gets a ukulele out. Maybe like he'll play a uh, play a violin. He'll play. Can he play the violin? You know. There'll be some kind of sad music going on. Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to predict it right now. That comes after the comments. After the comments, I'm going to predict the next moves of Gerard the Completionist. Zeem Jeem. I grew up in you, man. I can't express my disappointment. Shovel Knight may have saved you, but how are you going to save your career? There is no way. Unless you make an honest video and fess up, and then fix what you did. I re we'll leave it right there. There's more I could read, but let's talk about what I really, really want to talk about here, which is guessing what he's going to do next. So it's clear... Unless some of you have any more information, it's clear that Gerard has went away. He's went away. He's bunkering down. He is hiding from the Internet because all this that came out is very, very, very bad. Here's how you know how bad it is. If a YouTuber who talks so much and he's so active is not talking, except, you know, that phone conversation with uh, phone conversation with Muda and Carl Jobst, like I said, where he seemed just annoyed and, you know, low-key angered at them, but he tried not to let it come through. If he's gone away, then he knows how bad it is. There's no way the next upload, I don't think on his channel, is going to be anything but a woe is me I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man, I'm so sorry, sad upload. They're detailing it right there. His own audience knows what's happening. They've been conditioned to see what happens with him. Not in situations like this, but whenever he wants something to happen, whenever he wants donations, he's sad about YouTube. He's sad. He needs to pay his workers. It's not going good for him. His views are down. Whatever happens, he gets that he gets those acting chops out. So what's a plus in his favor is he's a great actor, at least, you know, on, by YouTube standards. He's a good actor. So my prediction for what happens next is stays away for a little bit longer. Maybe he's checking his comment sections to see, you know, when people start saying, it goes from, how could you, man, to, we miss you. We miss you. When's the next upload? Maybe that's what he's banking on. Maybe it is. I can't tell you right now when it's going to be. I'm not a perfect predictor of the future, all right? Some of you want me to read my crystal ball and tell you what's going to happen next exactly. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. I'm just an amazing judge of character. Years ago, I told you I was a greedy piece of shit. Even this surprised me a little bit to how low he became, how low he was. If I had to take a guess, though, the next upload on his channel is going to be some kind of apology upload. It might have some guest stars. It might have some other people talking to... <laughs> talking good about him, uh, talking to his high character. Maybe that's what he's doing right now. He's trying to call in some favors. Maybe there's some channels he's given some shout-outs to. He's like, hey, you owe me, motherfucker. You owe me. I need you to be in this upload where I'm coming back and I'm telling people I'm sorry. I'm definitely going to donate the money. But the other component of this is he'd have to donate that money. There's a situation here. I think it's a low percentage where maybe he just doesn't come back to YouTube. Because if he comes back to YouTube, he's going to have to instantly donate that money. Other than, you know, just getting destroyed in the comment sections. Him making it right starts with him making that donation. Whether it's one large donation to one place, whether it's to multiple smaller places, he has to show proof 
that he donated all that money. That's number one. And then maybe, just maybe, some of it, some of his audience will take him back and accept him and accept the apology. But it's got to be an apology. He's got to donate the money. Now, I think he's up to the apology part of it, but it will be a half-hearted apology. He's not going to come out and say, listen, you guys, I'm a greedy piece of shit. Radical Rick was right about me three years ago. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a better person. I'm going to get some therapy. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, better help. I'm not sure. And then I'll have a link to better help. I'm going to get some, I'm going to get some help. And I need to make myself into a better person. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be something of that nature. I can't predict exactly what it's going to be. But his next upload on his channel, I can almost guarantee you, will be some kind of apology upload, some kind of I'm sorry, uh, you know, tell me, tell me what you want me to do in the future, I'll be more transparent, something like that. People are watching him right now. The YouTubers are watching him right now. So if he wants to salvage his career at all, then... That's the first step, donating the money, like I said. If he don't donate the money, though, if he wants to hold on to the money, some of you said that that actually draws interest. I, I can't verify that. I, I don't know if that kind of money in that account draws interest. I have no reason to believe it doesn't. I'm just not a big financial guy, you know. But maybe there's a scenario to where he does not come back ever, and he chooses that he's going to keep the money, and that's more important to him than coming back to YouTube. I mean, that's a lot of money. I'm not sure how much he makes every year on YouTube, but maybe you know, maybe he's going to keep it. <laughs> so two things here. He's either going to not come back to YouTube, hold on to the money, which I don't think is likely, or he's going to come back to YouTube, have the sad music playing in the background. The minute, the very minute he comes back and he has the sad music in the background, I sincerely hope People see through that bullshit right away. See, I shouldn't even give Gerard that tip. But if you have that sad music playing in the background, man, fuck you under any circumstances, I'll say. I don't accept the apology. Many people, your own audience, will not accept the apology. But the very least, this greedy motherfucking piece of shit can do is donate that money.